Okay, I was getting nervous and something happens to at least reassure me. The Senate of the PSA decided yesterday about the about total submitting of the PSA. The leaders have accepted the in the inevitable and they should be they should be honored. They should have honored about that. So they rejoined us. This is a game changer. The PSAs came back and with them all their nice units which will be heading to crush any form of resistance to my government. Ah, oh, this is a good day. We'll have these guys come back here. We'll of course reinforce the border. So now this has been a game changer. They have the temporary Oh god, this we're gonna be cut off is the thing. They're gonna cut off my units here. Okay, I keep hitting to forget record I keep forgetting to hit record. I don't know what I was just about to say. Too bad I can't strategically redeploy units, or I don't remember the key to. Because we really need units on the front lines, like right about now. Because we're about to be entirely cut off. Being what's happening now, we're in full on, or we're basically retreating. Because we got cut off by Union State forces. Okay, now we gotta order some sort of attack. The Alamo. And it's Patton. Patton's leading the infamous invasion of our country. Oh, it should, it's, it's due, it should be Patton. If there's gonna be one man invading our nation, it's gotta be Patton. Well, let's attempt a breakthrough at our country. We just gotta hold out until those PSA units, and we're gonna all put them all on offensive. They move faster then. Until like March. They're not gonna be here in time to make all that much of a key difference or the difference they need to make. Oh my god, where are the AUS? It's like the AUS. Hope we can isolate the AUS military, but I've got nothing to stop them until militias from the PSA get here. Which that could be. God knows when. By the time they get there, which will be way too late. I mean, these guys are fighting. Oh, crap. They're going to have to retake Chicago. We're getting hit from... You know what? Our forces are seem to be getting entirely destroyed. Where did they get all these units from that they're using to just smash us? I mean, yeah, they must have changed it from the last time I played as the AUS, because I remember when I played as the AUS, you would rise up and you'd only have maybe a few handfuls of units. And they're really, they really want to cut us off here, don't they? My god. Militias, the AUS is spamming us, but we at least are... Okay. Being we're just about to be entirely cut off 
and my entire army destroyed in the south. Ah, just a uh, Christmas gift, I guess, for everyone. Well, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do. Until these troops in the PSA get here, we're basically sunk. They're going to they're going to have the whole of Texas under their control, and most of our troops have been are going to be destroyed. I didn't have a good strategy going into this. I thought maybe since I got more units, I could do an early rush, and it failed. This shows why you should. This more or less shows that not to respond to basically tactical opportunities and take those while compromising your strategic objective. Like what's happened here, my entire armies ended up being encircled. Yeah, this is what's happening. AUS has taken Denver, for Christ's sake. And my units couldn't move any slower. You know, just attack Denver. Actually start moving. Pittsburgh captured. We won't steal from other Americans. Hopefully when the PSA units actually arrive, they can hand out an ass-kicking. We may actually be able to... T no, no, no. Or at least reach the Midwest Wonders and save some of our troops, at the very least. And if I could have deployed those militias on the borders, instead they're here. No, I, I just stockpile them. Take them out. Kill them. Why did they put Patton in command of a militia unit? I don't know why. Patton's probably one of the better generals they have access to. So, they took, they're gonna probably have most of Texas by the time the PSA units decide to stop with their nice vacation in Tucson. Oh, at least these guys did something and retook Denver. I mean, seriously. What are you guys, like, marching in infantry formation? Oh, at least Russia seems to actually. I hit record and then it auto saved. So, yeah, things will hopefully end up being under control. Now, don't let them take another province. Come out of here. I can't seem to grasp how their militias, even though they're less than ours, can still survive. I don't know, I guess they get insane bonuses in winter. You know, one of, one of you, you're going to stay here. Because these guys are going to try something stupid. Or maybe something smart in their case. You know, I'm starting to get a little bit of the case of the downfall syndrome. You stop wanting to hear defeats. I guess because it's... I guess the good news of the day, we've got these guys on the run. Or now that the PSA troops have actually decided to get here and actually do something instead of sitting around all day. Encircle the German volunteers. Or they just retreat into another province. That makes a whole lot of sense. Oh, 
Oh, well, at least when we take Lincoln, we'll cut off their supply route. So they'll be encircled in. God, when are you guys going to arrive here? Well, I guess that's what I get for setting the AIs up. And then me not paying attention to what I'm doing. You know, we're, we're going to encircle these guys these times. This time. Finally, the coilers. The volunteers. I think they're British volunteers, if I remember correctly. They're finally dead. They're all dead or they're captured. What you call some pretty massive encirclements. You know, I think this has really just become of who can encircle the other person's army the fastest. And now they're gonna now they think they can take the province. Baltimore's at least been retaken, finally. Oh, guess what? Uh German Ah uh, yes, the German volunteers from Berlin. You you tried to outflank me by outrunning by outwalking my troops walking in and it failed. Ah, that's a good day. We encircled a bunch of Germans. Oh, no, no. Kill these guys. See, when I play strategy games, I get this syndrome where I forget what I'm doing on one side of the front and focus. Like, kind of just what happened. I stopped paying attention and all my troops ended up being encircled. And it was a whole lot of fun for both parties involved. Or, you know, head up to Oklahoma City or just head to this province and rebuild your strength so you can do something effective. You kill these guys. Ah, and they're encircled. I guess I guess the game in, of this, of outmaneuvering your enemies. And why do they retreat to there? That makes no sense. They just retreat to another province. Well, at least the Lake Erie Dockers are kind of in a bad position, finally. And I'm starting to get that syndrome again. I stop paying attention, and unfortunately, the Midwest Wonders always ends up being encircled for some odd reason. And. They've succeeded in circling some of their troops, finally. So I guess their game in the end failed. Oh, and here's the Minutemen now. When I got close to Atlanta, they got free divisions, and now, oh god, the Partisans. See, when Partisans rise in this game, they're like really hard, tough to beat, and I've seen times where Partisans took over the entirety of the U.S., they actually got stronger than all these factions combined and like took over the entirety of it and started swarming into Mexico and Canada because partisans know no borders. Okay, so unfortunately the Midwest Wonders was destroyed. Take Columbus, do something useful. Take Norfolk. Actually, do something once. We'll take. You know, we might actually annex the PSA, but I'm afraid the AUS might actually win. It might actually have a chance. Oh God! I was just talking for like five minutes and I forgot to hit record. This is turning into some fails of fairly epic proportions. I kind of don't. It looks like the C or that. God, the CSA might lose this, but. If they lose it, it looks like it will go to the, oh god, it'll go to the AUS and then I'll have the task of beating them and they might beat me. So the two countries I was deciding to play, one of them might beat me. This